guys, it is me Hudson with Hudson's Fishing Adventures and today I'm going to be giving a little update on the new mini pond and the bait well. So, jump right into it. Right here, the mini pond is doing awesome. We still don't have a big bass for it yet, but like I said, I'm going to make a separate video on that. And yeah, it's just doing really well. I actually saw the crawfish rarely come out of their home. They love it so much. But I saw one. Where is he? I think he's back there. Can you guys see that? The filter's right there, and then right there, this crawfish. He's kind of under these. These are water lilies. We have a, I'm about to post this video, uh, kind of failed fishing trip in the kayaks. So it didn't go too well. But even though we didn't catch any fish, we got four water lilies. And they're live plants. And they're the, I put some minnows in here from the bait well. And they won't get eaten because there's no real big fish in here. And they love, there's, there are actually little bugs in the algae, like little water lice. And we rinsed most of them out and they died on the concrete. But in case there's any more in there, they start to breed the minnows, actually peck them off. And then the minnows grow. And I'm hoping that when I put bass or maybe even a few bluegill in there, the minnows, some of the minnows will be food form, but some will, can hide in the vegetation and live and grow to be like you know big old minnows there's actually i'm trying to see oh there's one god they are so fast one just zip by <laughs> but yeah it's really good it's doing really good i just fed them some of these little pellets they're sickly pellets they the crawfish like them too they they sit up on top and the minnows eat them and then they slowly sink the extra ones and the crawfish eat them and they're full of like freezer dried fish freezer dried squid freezer dried shrimp so they love them and then I actually, as you guys know, in my last video, I had a separate little pump coming from this outlet to go in here. But I realized that this, since, like I said, it was a 100-gallon, two air stone, but it's only 50 gallons, so I just took one air stone. But that mean, meant that there was a hold of constantly skewing out air, and I didn't want to cap it because it could explode. So I actually, and I did, but I didn't want it to waste air, so I took that pump out, and I put this one in here, and just turned it a little bit. And it's perfect. It aerates this one actually because this is meant for a bigger air stone. That's a little air stone. It makes a giant wave current right there. And I, it's kind of cool though because the minnows are constantly fighting and it keeps them strong and healthy. Oh, the, is that a minnow? Oh, there's one. See him? You guys see him right there? Right there. That's a little minnow. There's one. <laughs> so, there he is. Some of them actually come up to me and try and beg <laughs> for food, but I just fed them a lot. So yeah, Minnow Pond is doing great. I said Minnow Pond. Mini Pond is doing great. And see you guys next time on Hudson's Fishing Adventures. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.